Hi, my name is Nick Marchese. This is another uh, episode of our web series from Cloud Asta on Gemini AI. Today we'll be focusing on Gemini AI security, uh, one of the offerings from Google. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at a little bit about what that provides and do a little bit of a demo for you. So on our last video, we talked about the different Gemini AI SKUs, uh, including Gemini a Enterprise, Gemini AI Business, uh, security and meetings and messaging. If you want to learn more about those, you can go ahead and check out our previous video. What we're focusing on today is how Gemini AI can automatically search and label different documents in our Google Workspace environment based off of different criteria we set to increase security for confidential files. So we'll be talking a little bit about that today. So just a quick reminder of what that features overlap looks like um, with the other SKUs. So this AI security, the uh, AI classification of sensitive data um, is has an overlap for the with the enterprise uh, SKU, but not the business SKU. So uh, a little bit of how we go ahead and get that set up. So to label Google Drive files automatically, we need to first set up the training uh, we need to train the model, and then we turn on the automatic classification. And to break those down a little bit more, uh, to set up the training, we need to create a classification label. This is gonna be a label that's created um, that is going to identify what type of uh, classification a particular document is. Maybe it's confidential, maybe it's not. Uh, we need to create a training label because we need to be able to uh, manually go in and uh, identify which documents uh, are confidential and not to go ahead and train the model. Um, and then we need to go ahead and select those labels and enable the training. Uh, the next thing is to train the model. Uh, to successfully train the AI model, your designated labelers, whoever that may be, should label at least 100 files per option within the label. So if your label has three options, let's say, uh, classified, um, non-classified, or personal. Um, each model, each option should have 100 documents or files that have been labeled with the training label. So that equals 300 files. Um, and obviously the more you have, the more competent the model will train on. Um, then after that's done, we're gonna turn on the automatic classification um, to auto apply those labels. And we could always uh, off and reset the model if it's not working for us or it didn't work correctly. Uh, just uh, some up, uh, clarity, when does the AI classification scan files? So it's scanning all files at least once, um, both for users and for share drives. Um, and it could take one to two weeks. Uh, it's also scanning when uh, files are uploaded or modified uh, because the label may change based off of the content that's in there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is move into our demo for this part of our video. Okay, I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly, but if you have any questions, just let us know. Um, so what we have to do first is create our label for our classification. So we're gonna go ahead and search at the top uh, label. It's gonna bring us to our label manager. So we're gonna make a new uh, badged classification label here. So I'm gonna hit new label. Um, this is gonna call a demo classification. Uh, we're gonna apply it to drive and docs. I'm gonna add a field here for what that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna pick badge list. Um, and that'll look like that. And then we have this field where we can open this up. It's gonna say uh, file, let's call it demo classification. Uh, and then we're going to change what these options are. So we'll call it classified, maybe make it red. We're going to call it um, not classified. And then we'll call yellow, maybe personal, just for an example here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hit publish. All right, go back. Um, and then we're just going to go right, one up right here to uh, data classification. And then we see here, it tells us a lot about um, auto-applying drive labels. So I'm gonna go down to uh, AI classification for Google Drive. So I'm gonna click Setup Training. 
And then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our classification label. Uh, this is the demo classification that we talked about. You see the options are classified, not classified and personal. And then on the left side here, we can select training label. So if you um, want, you can make one ahead of time. I'm just gonna hit create training label here. And it's gonna go ahead and create one called training, demo classification, classified, not classified, and personal. Um, so it just pulled me from a classification label, which was great. I'm gonna hit enable training. Um, before I do that, um, it says here, your training label has restricted permissions. So you need to make sure you give labelers access. Um, so if we click that, actually a really good point before we hit enable training. Um, so this is for our training classification label. Um, what we need to do is allow our um, uh, data classification uh, labelers to be able to have access to use this label. Um, so what we could do is go into more actions, permissions, and then here you could either do it for your entire domain, can apply labels and set values, or you can give it to a specific purpose. We're gonna give it to Bob, and we're gonna give it to Carol, um, and they could apply labels and set values. Um, then we hit save, then we go back, and we can go ahead and hit enable training. Okay, so this is live. You could see here um, the auto apply status is off for everyone. Um, we have the app, we have the training label, we have the other label. Ask designated labelers to apply this label to drive files. You must have at least 500 characters, blah, 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 blah. Great, awesome. So the next step is to train the model. So what we need to do is we need to go into a specific document and apply this uh, training label um, so that the model learns how um, to go ahead and better auto apply these. So I went up and opened my secret recipe from one of my way earlier videos. Um, and on the file, I can go file labels and I can see apply label, I'm gonna hit apply label, search for labels, and I'm gonna apply it to demo classification. We have that demo classification there. And it's gonna go ahead and be there, and that's applied. Um, and we would go ahead and do this for many, 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 many files. So that way um, the uh, AI knows how to uh, automatically apply those labels in the future. So we have to go ahead and apply those for all of those things. And then what we would do is we would go back to this page um, and we can see view model settings. Um, and what this would end up showing here is giving us some status on how many files we've seen as uh, classified, not classified, and personal, the score with the confidence level, um, and then when it all feels ready to go, um, we can go ahead and turn on auto apply here um, once the model is ready to go ahead and be set. Um, so that's kind of a quick overview on how to go ahead and use the new Gemini AI security to auto apply uh, drive labels based off of the confidential access um, and content that's within those files. Just a quick reminder about the Gemini pricing. Um, we have the different av options available here for flexible plans or fixed term annual plans um, for the different options. And we're talking about AI security today at the $12 per user, with the flexible plan or the annual plan at $10 per user. Um, if you have any questions about getting set up, please reach out to us. Thanks so much for watching.